into our newsroom tonight. 31 people are now behind bars in Operation Sweet Silence by the Muskogee County Sheriff's Office, FBI, and the DEA. And nearly 20 of those arrested are facing federal charges. According to Sheriff Greg Countryman, his office has been investigating gangs and criminal gang enterprises in the Fountain City. Of those arrested, 19 are validated gang members and face drug trafficking charges. That's according to the sheriff. The other individuals were arrested on state charges as part of the ongoing investigation. Additional charges are pending, we're told. The arrests are part of the heavy police presence seen across the Fountain City today. A full list of those arrested and their charges will be posted on our website. WTVM.com. We long way and got himself in some big trouble. This is another case of being a stupid ass nigga. And this is the shit that I don't understand. You got all the talent in the world. People fuck with you when it comes to the rap and they fuck with your personality. But you go and sell yourself short just for some drugs, nigga. I thought the point of us getting famous and making money was to get away from that type of shit. But it's like niggas don't see the bigger picture. And I get it. You may not be rich, but you still have opportunity. So if you're not getting as much money as you wanted to get in rap music, start taking acting classes and become a full blown actor at that point or invest in some businesses that's going to be lucrative. That way you won't have to go and be involved in drugs and guns. Do y'all kind of like get where I'm coming from? A lot of these niggas be putting themselves in situations that they shouldn't be in in the first place. So if you're the guy that's feeding all your friends and family at this point, can't nobody count on you because you're getting locked up. And I can almost guarantee you, you're not going to get any bail because it was a $200 million drug bust. So they're going to look at it like, hell no, nah, we're not going to get this nigga bail because if we fuck around and give him bail and if he jumps bail, then we're going to have a hard time finding him. Only way I see Pee Wee Longway making it out this situation is to rat. Other than that, he's not going to escape this. This is some shit that'll put a motherfucker under the jail for a long period of time. So do you guys think Pee Wee Longway will end up ratting? Or will he stand on business? It's up for you to decide. Kids, please stop being easily influenced by niggas like this. Whenever you have an opportunity, take full advantage of it. For more content like this, please make sure you continue to like, comment, and subscribe.